Shit, what it be is? Pantarello. What's up, baby? Shit, now what you doing? Uh, now, this is part three, man. I've been trying. I had an interesting topic this morning. My topic was sex on the MC set. Number one is, is it a problem with a female dating more? <laughs> is it a problem with a female dating more than one guy on the set? And that's that's question one. Question two is, can you really find love on the bike set? And then I was going to drop the third one on them. So let, let's start with you, man. Uh, is there a problem with a female or a male dating multiple partners on the bike set? What problem does is there? If there is a problem, what problem does it cause? It it only causes a problem, nigga, when two club brothers is fucking the same bitch, two club sisters fucking the same nigga. It I me myself, man, I I all bush side, nigga. I think women just like me, and nigga. All, if if you fucking Sheila in the club, it's cool. But then when you start fucking Sheila homegirl in the club, it only fuck it up, nigga. If if y'all doing it on the low, or or she going behind her back, but if she telling her home like to sell me, and her homegirl say she gonna get some of that head from that nigga. You know, because they say your head bomb, then she it should be no problem. <laughs> hey, hey, Sal, you you, you breaking that, up nigga, on my end, on my end, on my end, you on my end, you breaking up. But I, I kind of heard what you were saying. You said as long as I'm everybody saying, keeps I'm saying when you other about what's going. There it is, right there, homie. When you when you even though sneaking be the funnest part of fucking. If you if it's two people that know each other, man, you got to keep that shit one hundred. That's the only way you stay friends. Now, interesting because on the first when I was on here earlier, my girl Toya, the boy Drew, came on here. She was saying that the reason why you can't have a relationship on the bike set is because nine times out of ten, when the relationship ends, the bike set is still here, and now y'all can't function on the same set because you mad or she mad or you know you still got a little bit of you know love or jealousy or whatever, and you you know it's hard for you to to see that person function, you know, or, or, or be around. Do you agree with that? Well, hey, look, um, the way the way we do it, nigga, we got sister clubs, you know what I'm saying, and our shit. And and before we before we made our club sisters, our club sisters home. If you fuck with one one of the club sisters, nigga, and at the end of the day, y'all stop fucking with each other. We ain't getting rid of the club sisters for the club brother. So okay. you pick and choose, nigga. Don't do it, nigga. Don't think cause cause uh Bob and Tina ain't cool no more. Now you don't want Tina around, so now they can't come in here. No, nigga. I I'd rather get rid of the weak ass nigga than the bra. Mm. See what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah. you nigga, we all grown. So nigga, don't fuck nothing if you don't want it. If you don't want to fuck with her, don't fuck with her, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you, you look, when I, f I first clicked on it, but somebody had called me, I seen somebody said on your post earlier, like uh, I did, they had typed in, if you keep it 100, it always be better. And and that's true. But sometimes you do got to tell a motherfucker, man, we just fucking. You ain't my boyfriend. You ain't my girlfriend. We just fucking. Okay, so stop right there. Is that hard for a man to take is that hard for is that hard for a man to accept a woman just telling him nigga we just fucking or because see listen, listen what I'm saying wait, wait wait let me add this a lot of men punching and we know we've been seeing this shit lately it's a new generation of niggas a lot of men are some emotional motherfuckers man hey hey Cell, you ain't never lied but ain't nothing wrong <laughs> with a nigga crying or tearing up or being a tender <laughs> dick ass nigga. <laughs> See, see, one thing for sure, one thing for sure, and two things for certain, nigga. If you love that bitch, you better tell that bitch you love that bitch. And later, when I say, I'm not disrespecting y'all. Talk, and I ain't gonna never change how I talk. I don't give a fuck. But nigga, niggas, we love bitches too, nigga. So you got to, you better keep it one hundred. Look, look, self, perfect example. 
Me and me and half the niggas in my club, we've been friends, nigga, for 20 some years, 30 years. And nigga, I told niggas years ago when I first became a rare breed, nigga, if you knock a bitch on this motorcycle set and you like her, you better tell somebody you like her. Cause I'd have had niggas tell me <laughs> over and over. Oh, punch nigga, you can talk to her. I don't give a fuck about the bitch. And then as soon as I knock the bitch down, they go and tell the bitch, well, Punch said he fucked you and all y'all did was ate some tacos. And it ain't cool. Nigga, you tender dick. You tender dick. You tender dick. <laughs> hey, but, okay, so listen, Punch. So listen. So listen. Okay, I'm going to ask you this question. This is a little bit off subject. So how many, how many niggas can a nigga call hands off on? How many bras can a nigga have that he can call hands off on? Wait, what you mean? Oh, 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 how many can you claim? That's what yeah, you're how saying. Many how many can you claim? Can you claim? Hands off. <laughs> All boots to yeah, side, yeah. Obi. You really only can claim your one <laughs> arm. Yo, 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 I don't call them side bitches, because, nigga, shit, I, I, shit, if I fuck with you, I like you. I don't, you ain't the side of nothing, nigga. You the chicken, too. You know what I mean? So, I would just say honestly, you only can claim two. You only can claim two. You only two? can claim two. Yep, on the real. Cause most girls only gonna let you claim two. Okay, I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put up with I'm gonna put up with Tina at the house. But I ain't gonna put up with with uh with uh Tiance, Beyonce and all the race. They're gonna be ready to fight. Okay. Okay, so so now. So here we go. Cause see this is my thing. Everybody everybody always try to make it like it's the woman that's tripping. It's all cause it, and I'm telling you, man, I, I, I got this question in my inbox. And the question came from a female. And the question her question was part three of her question was, listen, I'm a female that love dick. I'm on the bike set. I'm in the social club. I joined that shit because it gave me an opportunity to be around some very beautiful, handsome men, some excited niggas and, 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 and real niggas and, you know, and bosses. And I love doing my thing. But the niggas, once I meet a nigga and, I, and I'm fucking with a nigga, then he go tell all his other club brothers that they can't fuck with me no more. And I feel like that's wrong. It ain't It ain't that it's wrong. Nigga, that nigga in love. Nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, look, Sam. Yeah. You got to whoever she is, whoever she is, tell her don't never inbox me. I don't need don't inbox me. You know what I'm saying? She must got that ill na na. So what I'm saying is this though. So why is it? And, and like I said, we already know it's a double standard. But what I'm saying is this: Could you? And I'm asking you honestly. Could you respect a female punching that had two or three niggas or been with two or three niggas that you know of? Could you really respect her if, if she was about her business? And Yeah. Hey, Sal, all Bush aside, nigga, on my son, rest in peace, homie. If I like a girl, I like a girl. And every nigga that's watching your video that know me, nigga, they know how I am. If, if, if Sheila done fuck four or five niggas, and when it got around to me, and I like Sheila, nigga, I like Sheila, period, nigga. And and my whole thing is, with me and my brothers, my nigga, niggas, we understand. If 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 the girl, niggas say she a hoe because she fucked five or six niggas, but that ain't true, nigga. Because we done fucked five or six bitches. I'm a hoe, but I ain't no hoe like that. But hey, so, if, so if what's the, would, wait, 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 wait. So what's a hoe like that? Uh, <laughs> uh, let me get. Let me finish this part first. Let me finish this part first. Look, 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 look. Look, sell all bush inside. Look, all bush inside, bro. If my, if the girl I'm fucking with and I like her, don't fuck two or three niggas that I know or even know of. They don't have to be my homeboys. It could just be niggas that I know of, right? If 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 okay. I fuck with her homie, when I bring her with me, cause she gonna be with me. All I want to do is respect me enough to don't disrespect her. That's all I ask. Cause all butchers son, I'm gonna fight for me. Nigga, if a 
think he gonna disrespect the bitch white with me? That mean you disrespected me. And I know how to fight. And I don't mind getting socked in the nose, the eye, none of that shit, nigga. I'm going to fight to my very last breath. So what you doing is you respected me, and at the same time, you respected bro. That's how I feel. And I ain't going to never change how I feel, nigga. And if I like her sale, I like her. Nigga, she going to be on my motorcycle, in my low rider, in my cars, whatever, nigga. As long as I don't get busted. You mean it is what it is. So, so, yeah, so I, I, got, I got a question for you. I'm going to put you on the spot. You ready? I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. I got a question for you. Go ahead. Have you ever went after a hoe? Garoa. But maybe no, a hoe no, in no, Oakland. No, no, no. Not, not, not a Figueroa hoe. Not a Figueroa hoe. I'm just saying. A, a promiscuous a multiple sex partner on the bike set feet. Have you ever saw one and said, nigga, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be number eight. Fuck that. I'm going to be number eight. Nah, you know, you know what it is for me, <laughs> Sil. I ain't never, I ain't never did that. I, you, one thing for sure, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. I never did. I, I, really, I like the ones that, that you tried to talk to or this nigga tried to talk to, that nigga tried to talk to, and she thinks she all that, and she can't be knocked down. And then them them the ones that I want to fuck with. I want the I want the the ones that I gotta chase. And then once I get them, then sometime I don't want them. But I but mm. I can honestly say, nigga, I ain't a lot of the girls that I fuck with that be on the motorcycle set. I beat them, brought them to the motorcycle set. Like, you know, it was when we first started on the motorcycle yeah. set, nigga, it wasn't no gang of broads out here. It wasn't no gang okay. of just bad young women like what we used to being with on the set. So a lot of the women start coming on the motorcycle set with us because they knew us from low riding or motorcycle, the dirt bike ride, jet ski and shit like that. And then they all came on the set. So as far as, as fucking with girls is already on the set, out there where y'all live at, it's this food by Jesus for you niggas. Hey man, y'all got it so good on that end, but I just I don't I wouldn't know if she was a hoe for real. And yeah. then I would hate for a nigga to walk up to, would hate for to walk up to me and say, punch, such oh, she ain't cool. She done fucked ten niggas over there. Well, she ain't fucked ten niggas over here. So hey, <laughs> is she pretty old? <laughs> Don't even tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. All right, last question, and I'm done with your crazy ass. Last question. Okay. So, <laughs> do you do do you agree that you can only tr that a woman has to be on the bike set in order to for you to, to in order for you to deal with her because she's not gonna understand if she not on like can you have a broad that's totally not related to the bike set or the low riding set? Could could you could with could you have a brawl like that? Yeah, hell yeah. They don't, because they, they don't understand it. But it's, it's cool, though. As long as she understands that I'm a nigga that be in the street a lot. I'm a nigga that don't come home a lot. You know, I might not answer that phone a lot. But I'm not out here fucking a lot. That part might be a lie. But... She got to just understand me, homie. The way you come into a relationship, look, you ain't, way. you ain't never yeah. noticed this. The way you come into a relationship, your shit. Yeah. You, break, you breaking up real bad. I don't, I don't know if you breaking up on y'all there, but you breaking up on mine. You, got you breaking up on mine real bad. What about now? I think you're breaking you better now, I think, but you was breaking up. You said I, what you did say was the, yeah, what you did say was the way that you come into a relationship is the way that the relationship will go throughout the whole thing, basically. Man, look, Sil, if you if if you if you come into me, this is how I feel. If you come into a relationship with a lady, and 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 y'all like each other, that's cool. But if you've been if if you've been doing your out here, you've been doing your uh, Monday night football. Tuesday, second and none, Wednesday, rare breed, Thursday, ghetto life, 
Friday you at the DOs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is what you've been doing for the last 10 years, four years, three years. And then you hook up with Sheila. Now, that's, that's nigga, not on the bike set. Sheila not on the bike set. Don't know nothing about Sheila the bike. not on the bike. She she don't know nothing about the bike set. All, all she know is you got you a motorcycle. You might be in a motorcycle club. So now you fucking with Sheila real tough. So now Sheila don't want you to, to go to the DOs and this, that, and the other. And then you stop for a minute. But then as soon as you want to get back out there, now you got a problem with Sheila. So you got to let her just let her know, like, this is what I do. Either you want to fuck with me or you don't want to fuck with me. You know, some niggas change and it'll be gone from the bike set two or three months. You've seen that happen before. They in love. And then now, they, in love. And then now they in love. Nigga, they kissing with their eyes closed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, now, now, nigga, you done got bored. You done got a little bored with Sheila. Now you want to do the, do come back over here with us, which is cool. But now Sheila mad as a motherfucker, homie. It be, it be hard. You... A, a lot of women, like nigga, my nigga, my my wife, nigga, shit, she understand, nigga, she don't ask me no questions and don't say nothing to me about my shit. This but this what I do. I've been doing it damn near twenty years. But even before her, she, we was low ride. We was in the streets then. We was doing our thing then. So hey, either you gonna man. be with Listen. me and fuck with and, me. And, 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 and I know and, and I know your wife. So I'm gonna say this with all honesty and respect, man. Your wife's scared as fuck. She knows she, she done been choked out four or five times. That's why you get away with the shit you get away with, babe. No, nigga. <laughs> I only ever touched my wife one time, nigga. And, and it's a trip, though, Cell. I can tell you, I can honestly tell you when we had a fight and everything, nigga, and it was in 1997. And she rushed me because she caught me with a girl. She hit me, nigga. I didn't touch her. I had to defend myself, nigga. And one thing for sure about me, nigga, I ain't, I ain't never been the toughest, nigga. Don't want to be the hardest, nigga. But if you touch me, nigga, I'm going to be the coldest big nigga on your ass. I ain't going for that. And that go for women and men. Don't touch me. I'm I, I'm scared. Look, hey, you be seeing the video where a woman might knock a nigga out? I don't want to be talked about on Marcel show and uh, <laughs> hey, what's your who you what's your alter ego nigga name? I hate him. Oh, hate him. Oh, oh, I couldn't do. I couldn't have you just telling hate him. Oh, look at punch, punch, <laughs> knock the fuck out my bitch. <laughs> oh no, nigga. Hey, hey, Sam. Yeah. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Why you think I always tell when I be doing my little live videos and I say I love gay girls, but the 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 ones that think they a man, I'm gonna beat them up like a man. I'm gonna well, beat her well, ass. Well, nigga. You already know how I feel. I'm like, if, if anybody you swing on is a fair fight. It's just, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about no. It ain't about the race. It ain't about the sex. If, you, if anybody that you swing on, it's a fair fight. It's a fair fight, homie. You like it's that? It's a huh? fair fight. You hey, like that, huh? You like that, huh? That's some real shit, ain't hey, it? Hey, Sale. Oh, my mama. What I always tell you, nigga, a nigga touch you, blow his head off, nigga. I'll you come are, to court for you. You already oh, my know. My mama, nigga. You already we know. Ain't got to, we, too, we too grown to be out here arguing, fussing, and fighting and shit. And, and, and this for you ladies out here that's watching this right now. It's, it's nothing wrong with loving a nigga on a motorcycle set. Just try to keep it 100 with the nigga. And, and, and for real, half of us going to keep it 100. The other half going to lie like a motherfucker. We all old enough now to know that we all got somebody else. Believe that. Now, you might knock her out the spot, but if the nigga got two with you and her, he going to have two with you and the other her, too. Believe that. Hey, man, don't, don't, don't be listening. Hey, man, you go, man. Enjoy your boy. I'm going to hit you back later on about Jesus. that video. I, I got to have two. Dude. About that video. Hey, I love you guys. Hey, hey, I love everybody. Hey, the Marcel <laughs> show, baby. I let the fat man Bang, man. Come on, out. man. <laughs> hey, Sam, see you, buddy. I don't know, it's not that big channel. Why you can't come on? I want to bring you home, man. I know you got a lot of shit to say. Serena, what up? Let me get Roland Hodge on here. Where my man Roland?